cost C, it crosses the average fixed cost and average total cost. So marginal cost crosses the average total cost at its minimum, which means aperture scale. All right. And marginal cost also upward sloping. All right. So marginal cost curve crosses the average total cost curve at the efficient scale. And what is the efficient scale? That's quantity that minimizes the average total cost. All right. So let's we already examined the relationship here. So that is the this, uh, this is the other data, and that data is basically telling you the behavior of the cost. Number one, marginal cost curve is like a hockey shape but it decreases and then increases all the time all right so that's why because we have only limited data that we practice the graph on based on limited data but if you have more data and more practical data it is like a hockey shape first decreases and then always increases so average total cost is like a u shape and after that, it will start rising. Right? right? Average variable cost always below the average total cost. So you see, every total cost is above, every variable cost is below. Why? Because every total cost is the sum of both average fixed cost plus average variable cost. So every total cost is always above the average variable cost. So that's why average variable cannot be above or cross the average total cost. It can never happen. Okay. Second, uh, sorry, the last point. The short run concept, which is every fifth cost always decreases. We will discuss the long run and short run in, at the end of the slide. So every fixed cost always decreases, but never touches to x axis. All right, so we have a managerial discussion here. So first of all, we understand the behavior of the cost, behavior of these curves, not the cost, behavior of the curve here, that marginal cost is like a hockey shape and it crosses the average total cost at its minimum. Average cost is like a U-shaped curve. It first decreases and then stayed the same and then started to increase. Where it stays the same, we call this efficient scale. Where every total cost is minimum. Okay. Marginal cost curve is like a hockey shape, like this. Average variable cost is always below. below the average total cost and the average fixed cost always decreases. The last point is the marginal cost crosses the average total cost at its efficient scale or at its minimum, right? Guys, are you with me? Yes. Good. So every total cost crosses the MC or marginal cost at its minimum, or MC crosses the habitual cost at its minimum. So using that condition which we want it, the profit is equal to minus total cost. And we want that to be cost to minimum. So we need to produce where we have minimum cost. That's why we call this efficient scale. Okay. So remember, marginal cost rises with the quantity of output rises. You see here, marginal cost rises with the output rises. All right. So it means MC rises and quantity rises. Okay. Average total cost is U shaped. Marginal cost crosses the every total cost at its minimum, which means scale. 
Now, if you understand the cause concepts here, the behavior of the curves, please answer this question. When marginal cost is less than every total cost, look at your graph. When marginal cost is less than the every total cost, find out which one is correct answer here. Om, what is the answer? Nicola, what is the answer? I would uh, say Oliver. C, sir. I would say B. I would say A. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's talk about this. When marginal cost is less than every variable cost. Sorry. Every total cost is U-shaped. And marginal cost crosses the average. Total cost at its minimum. So when marginal cost is less than every total cost, which side it is? If I draw a line here, this left hand side, this is the every total cost and this is the marginal cost, right? This quantity, because so this is quantity three, for example, here, this is four, this must be above four, maybe 10. So when marginal cost is less than every total cost, every total cost is, you see the behavior? Falling, not rising, why? Because at this point, every total cost is equal to MC. At this point, okay? And we are talking about the left side. Right? Here we don't have average variable cost. All right? So average variable cost can never be the answer. Average total cost rising can never be the answer. And the A part, marginal cost must be falling. No, marginal cost is rising. We just saw that. Marginal cost is rising continuously. So at this level, ATC is decreasing after that and MC is increasing after that. All right, Venetia, understand? Yes, sir. Answer is C. What about this? At all level of production, beyond the point where marginal cost crosses the average variable cost, average variable cost, no. Look at your graph and see, I think in your graph, the average variable cost is not crossing. Just so we have, when, when we have larger data, the average total cost is U-shaped curve. Average variable cost is below the average total cost. Average, variable, average fixed cost is always decreasing. And, the MC crosses the ATC at its minimum. 
which means this where cost is largely the same. Now, at all level of production beyond the point, beyond means above, where marginal cost crosses the average total cost curve, average variable cost is, now you tell me, average variable cost is, Rising? Yes, it is on the rise. All right? It is on the rise. Well done. If, if you see here, I think, not my diagram. Look at the diagram of here. When we have more data, the diagram would be like this. So beyond means this, we are talking about the right side. So when, when the marginal cost crosses the average total, average variable cost, beyond this, average vari variable cost is rising. Okay? Mm. Yes. Now answer this question. So this is basically the real scenario here. So you tell me which curve is most likely to represent to, to represent here the average total cost. Which one is the average total cost? What is the quality of every total cost? It's U shape, right? It could be B. B. This one? No, no, B. For ball, right? This one? Yes. Exactly. And why not C? C also looks like a U shape, but why? Because C would be average variable cost. It's always less than the average total cost. So C cannot be average total cost, okay? It must be the case that C would be average variable cost. What is the average fixed cost? C. It's always decreasing, but never touches to y-axis. And what is the average variable cost? It's below the average total cost, right? It's going to be C. And marginal cost is going to be, okay, average total cost is B, A, right? It's going to be MC because MC crosses a crosses the B curve at its minimum. So it means B would be every total cost and A would be MC. All right? And D is always decreasing. So it would be AFC, which is average variable cost, average fixed cost, sorry. All right? Now, the practical scenario, let's talk about this stuff in 